Since I'm a thief in the night, like get shot off your bike. Perk thing I mean him. He's the right front passenger in that vehicle. Julio Fulio was born Charles Jones on June 21, 1998 in Jacksonville, Florida. He grew up in a city fraught with violence and poverty. From a young age, Fulio faced the challenges that many children in his neighborhoods do, including unstable family dynamics and exposure to street violence. Sadly, just like many people in these meaningless street wars, Julio was ganged nothing and lost his life. In this video, we'll talk about the untold truth about Julio Fulio. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 15, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch the video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. School incident and full immersion into crime. Growing up in Jacksonville, Fulio was no stranger to the persuasive gang culture that surrounded him. The allure of gang life was so strong, offering a sense of belonging and protection that he lacked at home. By his early teens, Fulio found himself gravitating towards the dangerous lifestyle. His involvement in gang activities became a way of life, a means of survival in a world where options were limited. At the age of 16, Fulio's life took a drastic turn when he was shot at while riding a school bus. Fearful for his safety, Fulio dropped out of high school, abandoning his education in favor of the streets. The shooting incident only solidified his immersion into the violent crime life, as he felt there were no other paths available to him. ATK vs KTA Despite the chaos surrounding his life, Fulio found a way to channel his experiences through music. He began rapping professionally as a form of expression using his lyrics to narrate the brutal realities of his world. His raw and unfiltered style quickly gained attention, but it was his beef with members of the ATK gang, particularly Young and Ace, that propelled him into the spotlight. The beef between Young and Ace and Julio Fulio had been simmering for years, but it reached a daily boiling point in May 2017 with the murder of Fulio's 19-year-old cousin, Zion Brown. This brutal act set off a chain reaction of violence, escalating the feud into a relentless cycle of revenge. In June 2018, the animosity accumulated in a retaliatory shooting targeting Young and Ace during a birthday celebration. Ace survived despite being shot eight times, but the attack claimed the lives of three others, including his brother. Julio took to social media to glorify the massacre, even mocking the deaths by making a t-shirt featuring Young and Ace's brother and friends. The violence only escalated. In February 2019, Fulio's younger brother, 16-year-old rapper Bibby, was gunned down at the apartment complex. That same year, both Fulio and his girlfriend were injured in separate shootings, underscoring the relentless and pervasive nature of this vendetta. Adding fuel to the fire, ATK gang member and rapper Queso brazenly displayed images of fallen KTA members on the cover of the album Bibby Out. Queso's arrest in March for Bibby's murder came after he publicly boasted about the killings and taunted KTA by claiming he was smoking Bibby. Each name in Queso's song represented a slang revival, a grim roll call intended to further humiliate Fulio and his allies. The lyrical warfare reached new heights when Young and Ace released When I Smoke, a provocative track that promoted Fulio's retaliatory When I See You remix. In a macabre display, Fulio filmed the music video in a graveyard holding printouts of the three victims from the 2018 triple homicide and singing Happy Birthday. His diss track undoubtedly escalated tensions within the Jacksonville rap scene. Struggles with leaving the violent lifestyle. As Fulio's rap career began to show serious potential, he faced a growing desire to leave behind the violent lifestyle that had defined his existence. The fame and success brought new opportunities and a glimpse of a different life. Despite his best efforts, Fulio found himself repeatedly pulled back into the cycle of retaliation and bloodshed. Close friends and family members became casualties in the ongoing street war, their deaths serving as painful reminders of the inescapable nature of his circumstances. Fulio's mother often told him that if he was to leave this life behind, he also had to leave rap. She said it was because of his lyrics that Julio went into such a deep mess, but Julio didn't pay any heed to it. After he was shot eight times at close range, she pleaded with her son to stop rapping, 
I was telling him, it's your rapping, you need to stop it, she recalled. However, Fulio was determined to pursue his dream, expressing his anger and frustration through his music. The Tragic End On his 26th birthday, the violence that had marred Fulio's life finally caught up to him. He was ruthlessly gunned down. The circumstances surrounding his death sparked various theories and speculations. Some believe that Fulio had given away his address himself, a fatal mistake that every rapper knows to avoid. Others speculated that he was simply tired of constantly looking over his shoulder, having survived multiple assassination attempts on his life in the past. In his last interview, Julio had even told that there was a price of $80,000 on his head. He himself clearly knew that he doesn't have much time left. After his passing, Julio's mother is adamant about releasing a documentary that will show the most honest side of Julio. She says fans can expect to see the film in September. The documentary is going to talk about Julio's life, how he grew up, his rap career, how it started, and his family. May says, Charles grew up in the church. He was always with his grandmother who passed away as well on his dad's side. So we're going to be highlighting some of the good stuff. We're going to be highlighting things that happened that people don't know about. Legacy and mourning. In the wake of Fulio's death, the music industry and hip-hop fans mourn the loss of the rapper whose life was cut short by senseless violence. Beyond his career, May hopes her son is remembered for the way he gave back and helped people. He often donated money to individuals and organizations in his community and spoke to children at local schools. The officials are working hard to solve the case. The FBI detectives in Tampa are working every day. They are getting good leads and have warned the gangs of Jacksonville that they won't tolerate any more retaliation. Julio's mother hopes that her son's death can make a difference in the violence surrounding the industry. She said people love to rile these rappers up online, but it leads to nothing good and the end result is really tragic. Julio's death has left a void in the rap community, a poignant reminder of the price of street life. Julio Fulio's story is a somber reflection on the complexities of a life intertwined with gang culture and the pursuit of success against all odds. His legacy endures, a symbol of the struggle between dreams and the harsh realities. And with this, we have come to the very end of the video. Tell us in the comments below, do you think Julio's death will leave any impact on Jacksonville's violent drill scene? Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.